Hey there, Wargamers, Josh here from MWG Tabletop Games, ready to once again play some Team Yankee and show off something brand new, and that will be their brand new book, Nordic Forces. I will be playing as the Finns out of the book against Anthony, who will be using my Soviet forces. We play and call it work. But before we jump into today's game, after talking with the folks at Battlefront, uh, they've decided that they're gonna have a little bit of fun and celebrate the release of the Nordic Forces book. And so that means that we're gonna be giving away a Swedish force to one of you lucky viewers. The core of this force will be the most iconic tank design that uh, Sweden had during the era. And that's gonna be three boxes of the STRV 103 S tanks. Backing up those S-Tanks will be five of the STRV-104 Centurion tanks. Providing artillery support will be a battery of three Band Cannon 1 self-propelled guns. Moving along, we also have a full armored rifle platoon and a box of the PBV-302s. So that's gonna be your transport for those infantry, and you can also build one as an observer for the artillery. You have some options in how you build up the next three vehicles, and so you can either build them as PVRBV-551 tow carriers, or alternatively, as LVRBV-701 SAM carriers. Rounding off the force will be a little bit of air support, and that will be an attack group of two Sab 37 Vigan. So like I said, one lucky viewer will be winning this force. If you're interested in entering, leave a comment down below with the word Nordic in it. And two weeks after this video comes out, I will get in touch with the lucky winner after picking one of you at random and uh, get your details so I can send this stuff off to you. Now, without further delay, let's get back to the game at hand. Let's start off by taking a look at my finish force for today. I will be running two separate formations today. Let's start off by taking a look at the T-72 FM2 Armored Company. This is uh, pretty straightforward here. So that's a T-72 FM2 HQ and then two T-72 FM2 Armored Platoons that each have three tanks in them. And then I've also brought along a single T-55M armored platoon to go along with that. My second formation is a BMP-1. Now, I've been trying to figure out how to say this word, and uh, I've been uh, watching videos online, and all I can find is backpack videos. So I'm going to assume it's pronounced the same way. So it's a BMP-1 Yakari company. Yakari is correct. Well, well good. Yeah, I'm glad. I hope, yeah. Thanks for telling me you knew how to say that ahead of time, yeah, Anthony. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think you're supposed to roll the R a little bit more, I think, but uh, I can't do that. Uh, so, looking at this though, I have a single BMP-1 uh, as my HQ here with the little command squad, and then two BMP-1 Yakari platoons uh, that I have upgraded the BMPs to have the AT-4 missiles, and I've upgraded one of the PKM teams to have the uh, little anti-tank launcher. I've also brought along a T-55M armored platoon as part of this formation as well. To give me a little bit of long range support, and again, this is all part of the same formation. I've got a maxed out 81 millimeter mortar platoon and a ITO-78 anti-aircraft missile platoon, which is basically, it's the Soviet uh, grails. If you haven't noticed already, uh, Finland uses a lot of Soviet equipment. Mm -hmm. And then for the formation support, I have a T-55 Marksman Anti-Aircraft Platoon, a BMP-2 Recon Platoon, and then a Anti-Tank Missile Platoon that's essentially running the American uh, tow missiles. And if anybody's wondering why I didn't say the full proper name for that, um, I think my tongue would fall off if I tried. And that rounds off my 100 point uh, finish force. Let's move over now to take a look at the Soviets. All right, so the formation I'm running today is a T-72 tank battalion. So I have one T-72 as the HQ. I have two units of four T-72s in the combat formation. I also have a unit of BMP-2s, nine of them. So they are equipped with the AK-47s, RPG-7s, and PKM machine guns. I also have a unit of three Carnations to provide artillery support, and a unit of BMP-1 Recon uh, BMPs. In support, I have a unit of three Spandrels. 
uh, five T-55 AM-2s, four hind helicopters, as well as three T-72Bs. Nice, and that is 100 points on that the That is actually 100 points. Nice. The mission we will be doing today is mission number four, Encounter. Your forces have been scattered in heavy fighting. Gather your forces and defeat the enemy. Special rules, we have meeting engagement for both players and scattered delayed reserves for both players. We've both set up along the long table edge and uh, placed two objectives and then deployed up to 60 points as our starting forces. The rest is in, like we said, scattered delayed reserve. Winning the game, a player wins at the end of their turn holding one of the objectives that they placed on the opponent's side of the table. That's it, that's all. And here we go, this is the lovely table we are playing on today. Um, now if you're not familiar with the coverage I've done of uh, Team Yankee in the past, everything you see on the board, including the mat, this is all made by? Battlefront Miniatures, specifically our Gill Force line, Battlefield in the Box line, which is all pre painted terrain. So yeah, the nice thing about all of this that you see, it all comes pre-painted, ready to go. Um, I haven't flocked because I haven't decided uh, what I what trees I want to permanently have on there. So I haven't really flocked these up yet, but they do come with the flock to do them. I've just been too lazy to do it. And then uh, we're on one of their double-sided gaming mats. Now looking at the forces, over on this flank, I do have my uh, Scout BMP-2s, followed by some T-55s, and then some infantry in their BMP-1s. In the center there, I have my tow missiles. Uh, and then my T-55 Marksman. Uh, for anybody wondering, these are one of the little unique Finnish uh, models. So it's a T-55 tank chassis with the British Marksman turret on top of it, which I think is kind of neat. Got my mortars, my uh, anti-aircraft missiles, and then over on this flank, more T-55s, more infantry mounted up in transports, and my HQ, which means all my T-72 FM-2s are gonna be my reserves. Over on the other side of the board, what am I playing against? So this is my BMP-2 company, so this will be all the infantry riding in the transports, ready to advance. Within the woods here are my carnations. Behind them is my T-72 formation commander. Oh, move the tree, let me see him. Oh. There he there is. is. Next to them are the T-55 AM-2s, ready to help with the advance. And over on this flank in the woods are the Spandrel um, anti-tank vehicles with our long-range missiles. And behind them are the BMP-1 recon vehicles ready to counterattack. Very cool. Now, for anybody wondering, um, we don't have the token set yet Correct. for the fins, yep. so I'm using uh, the German tokens. Yes. Yep. Um, and one last thing, too. I also, in this mission, we have meeting engagement. Um, so currently, uh, helicopters are off board, loitering above. Yes, I forget to mention that. So don't forget my Heinz, Josh. Yeah, I wish I could forget the Heinz. All right, well, let's roll off and see who takes first turn. The highest dice roll must go first, so it's going to be... Okay, uh, yeah, it's going to be a roll. roll. Very good start. Five to one. Uh, Look at the, the uh, fins are taking the initiative, and uh, let's see if I can do something with that. So I'm a little bit more defensively postured. I was not planning on having first turn, but I think I can still make use of it. So we're gonna show where everything is. Basically, this clump is gonna move. My center will probably just hold uh, firm, and this clump will move over here. All right, so go, went ahead, did my moves. Um, basically, over on this flank, the infantry jump out dash the transports over to here just to kind of build somewhat of a firing line and then the t-55s have started to roll up on this flank as i move to the other side of the board these t-55s are going to roll into support over here as the bmps the scouts and the bmp ones with the infantry are going to push this objective early try to put some pressure on you bring us right over to shooting i'm going to start with these uh, bmp2s just putting shots into the spandrels in the forest there I am, con uh, sorry, you are concealed, gone to ground, uh, so I will be looking for fives to hit you, yep. and I can only hit these front two, two here. Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so yeah. we'll just put two there, one there. Hey, guess what? Uh, can you do anything against AT-10? Fortunately not, they are front armor one. Very yeah. good. And so firepower checks. Uh, these are five up, mm -hmm. so on mm -hmm. the front one there. Got him. And then on the other one, Nope, no, just bailed out. Bailed them out. Good start. 
Happy about that. Uh, let's move over to the other side of the board where these T55s are gonna try to pop shots over into your BMPs. Okay, just gonna pop shots looking for fours because I do have slow firing on the guns, but otherwise I can see you just fine. Let's see what I can't get. Ooh. Ew. So we're gonna sign one, two, and then uh, just straight to firepower again. Yep. You have no armor that can stop this. Yep. Got we're good and we're great. Rolling the passenger saves. Passenger saves here for, so this is for the AK team. They're okay. And for the RPG team, they're also okay. Good start. And then for the unit leader that's in this transport, also okay. All right, cool. Just taking out a couple of your BMPs. Place them there and the infantry are pinned. That's about all I can do for turn number one. Cause again, everything else, uh, well, everything else counts as uh, having moved. So, uh, not a terrible first turn. A couple early casualties. Let's move over to Soviet turn number one. Beginning of the Soviet turn, trying to unpin. Yep, got to do a rally here. Need a three or better. And I got it, cool. Yeah, no problem. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, oh yeah, gotta I got to do a remount. Back in. Remount over here, three plus. No, nope. got to test morale, three plus. They do okay, stay so on the battlefield. Stick around, but uh, not all great. Right, all right. That's all we have to do at the beginning here. So we're going to get over to the moves and show off where everything is currently sitting and then where it all ends up. All righty, moving for the Soviet forces. So the Heinz are going to fly in over here to stay out of range of the marksmen. Uh, just out of range, but I will get to throw some missiles at you in a minute. Um, a general advance here with your infantry and the BMPs trying to move your T-55s, your slightly better than mine T-55s, up the middle of the board with the T-72 commander in support. And then over to here, you get your BMP-1s moving out to try to do something about this force that's uh, pushing on in. Um, so yeah, let's uh, get to the shooting step. We're going to start off by trying to put a smoke compartment down yep. roughly where you have the dice there. Yep. So uh, explain to the folks at home what you got to roll and who's doing it, I guess. So the is coming from my carnation battery here. Um, smoke compartments always have to be at the beginning of your shooting step. Um, and then the main thing is there's no penalty for smoke, but you still have to range in. And with the Soviet skills of five, it is a little risky, but I get three attempts. Three attempts. So the first one? Nope. Nope. Oh. Yep, nope, there, there we go, go. second so attempt. Get to put some smoke down. Obviously, having to put the smoke down first, so you can't just shoot me and then smoke so I can't shoot back. Correct. And that's where the little smoke templates are going to end up. And uh, now over to the rest of your shooting. Where do you want to start? I'll start over here on this side of the board. Okay, so we've got the BMP-1s putting shots into my BMP-2s. Yep, they're going to fire their uh, smoothbore cannons, aiming for the BMP-2s. Uh, rate of fire is one each. And I will need fours to hit you. So yep. See if I get lucky. Ooh, very I good. did not get very lucky. Very there. good. <laughs> All right, see if you can keep the good luck going. The yeah. spandrel, do I have any concealment? Uh, yes, I will. You do have some short terrain here, so that would make it a five to hit you. Yes, sir. So rolling for the spandrel. Spandrel Ooh, does hit. Ooh, nail it with a five. Yep. Um, now, front armor is always better. I gave you my side armor, because even my front armor in these is not enough to try to bounce one of those missiles. Yeah, 18. So I yeah. was relying on not getting hit. So what's the uh, firepower on this? Uh, any tank is 21 and okay. firepower is a three up. So see if we get lucky. Uh, you do, so yep. smoke one of those T-55s. Yep. Not great, but again, this would have been way worse if you had uh, three of them shooting at me potentially. What's next? Next up, uh, going to start with the, I'm gonna start with the Heinz here. Heinz are gonna fire their missiles into the T-55s no, this here. This is where they uh, get the chance to use some anti-aircraft Yes, fire. so we'll do a interruption here. So you fire your, your SAM missiles. Each of my bases gets three shots. So that's gonna be six shots total into the Heinz looking for threes to hit you. Yep, yep. There are woods, but uh, so I'm looking for fours, but I only rolled fours anyways, so that okay. works out. Assigned to those front three. So right. over here first, what's your aircraft save? Oh, save is a four plus. Oh, failed the first good start. one. Good start. Next one. Ooh. Very good. Oh no. So they're all failed, uh, but I owe you firepower checks then, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And my firepowers are five ups. So the first one, nope. Next one, nope. Last one, 
Okay, so I do get one of the Heinz down. Crash and burn. Could have been way better, could have been way worse. So I'm happy with that. And I also am going to take the anti-aircraft shots from the uh, machine guns here. Rate of fire one up into you, shooting at the helicopters. Okay, so the three uh, 50 cals I'm shooting up, looking for threes. Okay, so we're going to assign just one, two, three across the board. Aircraft save. No. Fail. Oh. Fail. Made and one. they pass. So I can take firepower checks. These are five ups, but I got to re-roll successful, right? Mm-hmm. All right, so when I'm firing up, I get a firepower of five up, but I got to re-roll successful mm -hmm. firepower checks. Yep. So basically, I'm just going to roll two dice here. I need mm -hmm. two fives to actually kill you. Nope. Nope. I didn't get a single one. But I'm going to roll two fives on this other one. Nope. Mm -hmm. And they're fine. Mm -hmm. All right, so they get to finally activate. Mm -hmm. And you're just putting missile shots down into me? Yep, yep. Okay, uh, should be hitting me on fours, I do Need believe. Fours. Okay. They made up for the Three failed hits. saves there. Whoa! Front armor, I think 13 on these, and you are, uh, your AT is uh, pretty, pretty high. So I don't get a, I'm not gonna get a save out of this. Um, so you're looking for firepower checks. Three up, and we'll go across the way. So here? Yeah, well, got him. Did it. And the last one, bail. Okay, so bail of two, and you do kill him. And both tanks bailed out. Now you're gonna have the T-55 shoot down the way. Yep. So checking my targets here. So I will be able to hit him. The here. Yep. So I'll be able to get four into them. Okay. Cool. Yep. So four shots coming in. Yep. Hitting on fours. Yep. And two hits. Okay. And then uh, fire pirate checks. Oh no. Uh, what's the AT on these? AT is. Hey, actually, I could uh, try to make saves on these. So you got two hits total, right? Yep. So we'll go one on the the one on the back first, mm -hmm. looking for a five to completely bounce. Uh, no. And then the other one. Okay. So that completely bounces, and then this one matches. Matches. So roll two plus um, since it ties. Yep. I do roll two, so he is bailed for a second time, so he'll have to make a remount test. Remount check here is a three up. Yeah, so he's fine. Nice. Uh, so got double bailed out, passed my remount, so he just continues to be bailed out. And that's it, that's uh, it for the turn. Uh, not that bad. I definitely was worried that it was gonna be much worse than that. We'll give you guys a little sweep of the battlefield as we get ready for my turn number two. And here we go, the start of my turn number two. I must try to hop back inside. So on a three up, no, uh-oh, and then the other one. Uh, actually, I have, formation. yeah, his formation commander's right here. So let's uh, re-roll that. He's nice. back in. And then the other one is back nice. in as well. All right, we lost a tank, we lost a couple tanks, but uh, we're still in it to win it. Now that's taken care of, we gotta go ahead and get some moves done. So I'll give you a sweep of the battlefield, show you my general little line of battle, and then uh, get to it. Let's take a look at the moves over here first. These 255s rumbled up to go support over here. Um, I need to keep putting pressure on you here, and the very effective smoke screen is stopping me from doing much. Uh, I am going to use the halted rate of fire over on these lads just to try to get some more shots into them. Um, but I did move my BMP-1s up. And as we come across the board, I uh, got my BTRs out of the way so I could move my T-55s over. And then, um, sorry, the T-55 marksman. Last thing I'm gonna do over here is, I think I'm gonna roll a skill check and try to get a blitz going. Um, just so I can get two shots down range at you there. And that would be without penalty. Ah, uh, I'm back and forth. Do I want to show off the, the better skill? Skill, mm. skill, mm. skill, skill. Dang it. Okay, yeah. Blitz. Nice. They make it. So they get a basically a four inch mm. move and they count as being stationary. That'll have them right there. Um, and then these guys are attempting to dig in. Survey says they do. I think that's it that I'm gonna do for moves. Um, my rate of fires are all kind of decent everywhere. So yeah, let's just get to it and see how much I'm gonna stress myself out. Uh, we'll start with these marksmen. I'm gonna put shots into your hinds over here. 
We made, we made a mistake right. earlier. You shouldn't have got concealment when I shot with them. Yeah. But no, uh, it doesn't matter. Like I only rolled yeah. fours anyways. So yeah, we're gonna go the marksman. Firing up, and I'm looking for uh, threes Freeze. to hit you. Yep. Ooh. I rolled lots of ones and twos, but there's still plenty of threes in there. So we're just assigning two hits. Two hits each. Yep. And your aircraft save was four up on them? Four up. So we'll start here and work our way down. Made them both. both. Next one. Made them both. Stop. And... Oh no, two okay. go through. So firepower check here. I believe it's four up on these twin 35 mm -hmm. millimeters. Yep. Yep, going yeah, okay. down. So we do get one of them. All right, every little bit helps. Yeah, good saves earlier though. Known for rolling good saves. While I'm standing on this side of the board, let's go ahead and have these T-55s shoot at your T-55s. I don't know, I'll shoot somebody in the middle. It doesn't really matter yep. a ton here. Shoot for the Looking for uh, three to hit. Three, yep. You're just a wide out in the open. Uh, I hit one. Gotcha. Uh, so on Mr. Man in the middle there, and you are going to owe me a armor save. Anti-tank 19, your front. Front's a 14 with range that will go to up to a 15. Okay. So I got a five, so that will bounce. <laughs> boo, boo. Uh-oh. Okay, uh, you know, that happens sometimes. Uh, next, let's go ahead and have my BMPs. And I think I'm just going to slap some missiles downrange at your BMPs. Uh, primary target will be fella in the middle there. Looking for threes to hit you. Okay, so I hit two. Uh, so we'll just assign to the two front there. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, go straight to fire power. Yep. So I'll roll with man out of the hatch. No. Bailed. Bailed. And the other one is destroyed. destroyed. All right. Going to roll for the teams inside a the destroyed one. AK team is destroyed. RPG team is also destroyed. Very good. Okay, a little bit of damage done there. I feel a little bit better about uh, my lot in life. Um, hmm. Hmm. Haven't decided what I'm doing with my mortars yet. So instead, let's go over here and we're gonna have these two T-55s shoot into your spandrels. Uh, firing those shots straight ahead, looking for fives. Yep. Hit one. Uh, has, and then just straight has, to firepower. Yep, has going live one. Got him. Yep, we got him. So you only have the one bailed out, one Ooh. left. And continuing down the line, let's just go ahead and I think we're just going to have my BMP 2s open up on your BMP 1s. Three shots apiece. Looking for threes, India. Yeah, that's a that's pretty good. Oh, yep. And that's what the assigned hits will end up looking like. And I should be straight to firepower again? Yep, straight to firepower. So you're looking for fives and sixes. Okay. On the end. Mm -hmm. uh, double bail, so I do have to make a check. Destroyed. Okay. He doesn't like that. In the middle. Uh, get him. Destroyed. Number three. Double bail. Okay. That one's okay. The bail. And one on the end. Uh, just bail. Regular bail. Right, I guess that'll be my regular BMPs. Uh, my BMP one shooting into your BMP ones. Mm -hmm. uh, once again, I should just be looking for threes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So one hit on each. Mm -hmm. Go straight to firepower. Three plus. Yep. So we'll go here. Mm -hmm. Destroyed. Also and destroyed. destroyed. Yeah. All right. So this uh, objective that they are conveniently sitting on is now uh, kind of in the, in the open there, Anthony. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, this most got me really blocked out from being able to do much of anything because I don't have any team leads that I can use to uh, spot for them because I really want to drop mortars over here. I guess so what I'm going to do is just start to range in over here for when you do get there because I know you're coming to try to assault me. So yeah, okay, let's try to range in over here. Uh, just attempting to range in on a three. On a three. Okay, there we go. That works for me. I'm going to drop it. Actually, hmm. Make that right here. Bump. Happy days, happy days. Now it's a potential overkill. I'm going to go ahead and fire some uh, tow missiles at your remaining spandrel. Mm -hmm. All right, so the two center ones are able to see and fire some shots downrange. So I think I'm once again looking for fives. Okay, so we got a yep. single five yep. in there. Yep. And yep. straight to firepower. Mm -hmm. Yep. Nope, he's just bailed bail, out. But let's see if I get lucky. He stays. Okay, so he sticks around. And then the BMP-2s firing their missiles over. Uh, so I think I'm looking for something similar. Mm -hmm. 
And yeah, sorry, these are uh, guided. I don't know why I had the slow fire bonus mm -hmm. in. Um, but the other one missed. So anyway, it's going to fire the two missiles out of my BMPs into them. Looking for fours. And that adds up to four. Mm -hmm. But it does not hit. He will stick around and continue to roll dice. I think that is the end of my turn. Yeah, I have nothing, nothing else meaningful I can shoot anywhere. But uh, again, pretty happy with how it all turned out. Uh, let's get ready for turn two for the Soviets. There's the remount first. Nope. Nope. Just stay around though. Just stay around. Okay. <laughs> Just camping out yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, uh, do you want me another? Oh yeah, uh, there's re a remount, remount over here. And that is successful. And then you hop back on board. Yeah. Now we gotta get over to the Soviet movement. So we don't start rolling for reinforcements until turn three. Mm -hmm. um, and even then we don't know exactly where they're showing up. So we'll show off where everything is. The BMPs continue their uh, rolling up the board. T-55s, you get a single T-72. And then uh, you get some problems over here, friend. I don't know what you're gonna do about this to stop me from taking an objective on my turn. All right, we have some completed movements. T-55s just trying to hide behind the building there. And then we also have the BMPs continuing to push up the board over here, uh, kind of becoming more and more of an issue. And then sweeping over this way, your commander's brought his T-72 over to here. And then we have the Heinz flying up over this way. Where would you like to begin your shooting, sir? I'm going to start with the artillery first. Yep, artillery, uh, where are you trying to drop that template? They're spotting for themselves as well? Mm -hmm. Yep. Attempting to drop it right there. Yep. And you're looking for fives. Yep. Uh, first attempt. Nope. No. 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 Failing to range in with that lower Soviet skill. And we're okay over here. This is a problem, friend. Mm -hmm. This is a problem. I thought you were going to bring your T-55s back here. I was really hoping to uh, force you to not support that attack as much. Next bit of shooting will be the Heinz. So before they do anything, I'm going to go ahead and interrupt them. I have one of my Grail missile teams in range. And then you might have some anti-helicopter stuff shooting. Uh, but let's start off with the Grail teams hitting you on threes. Uh, that's a good start. So two here, one here. Made them both. Oh, Failed that, that one. one. Okay, looking for a five up. Nope. nope. So we're good. And then the anti-helicopter shots from mm -hmm. the 30 mils on my... Oh, sorry. Here. Firing up. I'm sorry, it's... Yeah. I got them confused. So, firing up, looking for threes. And again, we will sign one, two, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. one like that. So, two saves here. Two. Uh, cool. Made one, failed one. Okay, and the, the other one... Uh, failed. failed it. So, okay. one on each. Firepower check right here. These are fives, I think, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yep. Five up here. Nope. Oops. The other no. one. Nope. Oops. You're good. Oof. The Heinz, uh, the Heinz taking a, right. a lot of shots. And where are they shooting down into? I am going to go for the, I'm going to go for the BMP ones because with the infantry in them, I want to try to knock them out and try to pin the infantry. Yep. That makes so sense. So I'm going to target the back one there. Yep. I uh, got one. Got one hit. Uh, straight to firepower. Yep. Uh, firepower three up. Three up. No, just bail that. Just bail him. And then we've got your T-72 to fire. Mm -hmm. Yep, he's going to fire at the... The lead BMP? Yep. Okay. Uh, I think you're looking for just a four. Yep. And got it. Hit. Goes two. straight to firepower. Got him. Okay. So there it is. He is destroyed. Going to make the saves for the two infantry And it is inside. brutal, so you have to re-roll their saves. Gross. Pass them both. both. And the second one? Pass awesome them both. Made him. Nice. And we'll pin them right there. All right. Well, what's your next trick? Next shot. Over here, the T-55s are going to fire against your T-55s. Yep, continuing the duel. Yep. So I have every one in there. Um, because of this one, it is non-obscured, so yep. I will be able to hit you. Um, we ignore the range field because they have laser range finder, so I'm looking for fours. Okay. Open. Target the one out of in the open, obviously. Fours. Uh, Two, uh, okay. Three hits. Uh, looking for five ups here. Uh, okay, and then five up on the other one. Nope. So do the firepower check to destroy here. Yep, two plus. 
Uh, well, you double, rolled double ones, double ones so, so yes, luckily roll, I'm just bailed. Well, you have to roll an immediate uh, remount. Yep. Uh, no, because one of them matched, I think. Oh, it did tie? Okay. Uh, you jumped the gun on the roll, oh, but luckily bad. it worked out, so uh, right. he's just bailed out. Right. And then the other one? Other one. Oh, no. Okay. Also cool. bailed out. Yeah, that's fine. We're putting that's holes fine. in those tanks. We're not hitting anything. <laughs> There's speed holes in anything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then your BMPs are out of range to do anything, and they can't hurt the front of these. So, uh, okay. I'm pretty happy about that. Anything else you need to do on your turn other than cry? Mm, I'm going to just start Despair? crying Despair? Yeah. <laughs> just. All right. So as we start... Turn three for me. Before I roll for my reserves, do I get back in? Yep. Do I get back in? No. You get a uh, commander. Oh, command reroll. You're right. Commander is nearby. I did that for a reason. Nope. Oh, he's no. still not getting in. Uh, so, so that one's back in. So I have to do a last stand. Yep. Uh, reroll. Reroll because commander's nearby. Yep. No. Oh. Okay. So you t in a roundabout way, uh, you did get them. All right, Anthony. You can say it. Yeah, I finally finished them off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's awful. Yeah. I'm here all week. <laughs> Just to confirm, I only let Anthony come for two days at a time. I don't let him. Otherwise, it's too much. <laughs> it's too much otherwise. Sweep all the way to the other side of the battlefield. Let's see if I can remount there. Uh, no, I do not remount there. And you do rally. try to get unpinned. You do rally. I do. Okay. That's the more important part. Mm -hmm. And then for my delayed reserves, I get to roll now. So I roll a single die. And on a five up, I'm going to get a squad in. I don't. Not yet. Well, I guess that's just going to get over my movement. I am getting more concerned about this over here. So I need to just keep up the pressure there and hope it works out. Before I pull anything else out, I know I need to get my infantry up onto the objective. So I'm going to take care of that first. So that's the infantry all jumped out and moved up to over to there. Uh, I did want to clear a lane so I could fire some missiles down at that uh, commander. Ah, uh, these tanks here. I do want the commander dead, but he's not the biggest threat to me in the world right now. These guys are more of a problem. Uh, I think what we're going to do... I don't have the line of sight I need here. Just going to turn the turrets there. Uh, I think I will go for a blitz here and see if I can get these into a better position and maybe throw some missiles at your uh, commander there. Uh, so go for a blitz on a three. Nope. They're not going to get it, so just uh, let's just move them. All right, I'm just going to take the tactical move, get them up to there. Take those marksmen, dash them over to there because they're not going to get any meaningful shots uh, this turn. Now i got to figure out what I'm doing with all of this over here. Looking at my options again, I need to try to punish these guys as much as I can. So I think I'm going to go for a blitz here on the uh, BMP ones and see if I can get them into a better position. If it works, it works. It uh, doesn't, it doesn't. Three up. Nice. It does. Okay. There we go. Ready to get some fire down the board. I think my uh, my BTRs. I think I'm going to go ahead and just start dashing this stuff to get it out of the way. My BTR is going to go over here to try to support. Ah, uh, the inevitable assault that I know will be coming in. So yeah, uh, let's get uh, right over to shooting. And I think we're going to start with, yeah, these three just launching their missiles into your uh, T-55s. Um, let me see, uh, actually, if you're going to get some concealment. Yeah, no, you're not. I can see you out in the open over here. So primary target will be fell on the end there. And I'm uh, looking for threes to hit. Nice. And that's three hits. Let's see. Yep, looking for fives to tie, so we're going to go down the way. Nope. 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 And nope. nope. Okay, Ooh. firepower checks. Yeah. This ain't looking great for you. Going to go in the same order. Yep, first one. Three up. Got him. Three up. Got him. Three up. Bailed. Bailed. Okay. Very happy about that. Uh, let's move over to... <sighs> Maybe I should have blitzed these guys out. No, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, and I think I have three that have line of sight to try to shoot at that one artillery piece there. Okay, so I've got the two in the middle that can see there that are going to try to slap shots down range. Uh, looking for fours because you have the concealment. I got one hit. Straight to firepower because I know your armor is yep. not fantastic. 
And yep, got a three. Yep, now we we'll get smoke them. Good, that will make it tougher for you to call in other bombardments. Also brings you down to two guns in the battery, which is rerolling your successful hits against me. Um, and then let's go with. Uh, they're still kind of a threat. Yeah, these guys are going to fire uh, right into the butts. So you do have concealment because uh, of me firing through this. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to be looking for fours to hit you. So I've got one, one hit yep. on oh, Buddy Boy right there. Yep. Firepower check, two up. Got him. Yep. Another one down. Uh, the BMPs don't really have a line of sight to anything. <sighs> These guys failed their blitz, so the missiles don't have the capability to shoot. And, um... Hmm. I think that's it. Never mind, I got two missiles to throw. I knew I had something to shoot at him. Mm -hmm. So the missiles mm -hmm. off these mm -hmm. two going into your commander. Yep. Looking for threes. Mm -hmm. no, that's a pair shot. of hits. Yep. 18, 19 versus your front of? Uh, 16. So one will bounce, but one will go through. Okay. Three up to get rid yep. of them. Oh, oh you got them. gone. Yep. And there's no one close enough to... For him to jump into. Yeah. So that's the uh, formation lead down. Give you guys a sweep of the battlefield because I'm starting to potentially get my wing condition over here. Uh, there might not be much left for the Soviets, but there are potentially a couple different things that could happen. So let's get ready for Soviet turn three. And start of the turn, trying to remount. Yep, you get a three plus. Nope, do they stay around? They do stay though. Okay, so they're, they <laughs> keep passing his last stand, right. but he's not getting back. He's not, it's too dangerous out there. It's uh, safer in the vehicle. Here. Yep, three up. Got it. Okay, uh, good. Don't have to take morale test because so you still have the tank. Two now. Yeah, not yeah, bad. That'll be it. Yeah. Not bad. Over to rolling for reserves. Five up. Yeah, one dice. No. Uh, wah, wah. no. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll see. Uh, we'll see next turn if you uh, are sticking around. You need to push my infantry mm -hmm. off here. A recap of the movement here. I mean, there wasn't technically a ton. The Heinz are going to stay there because they need to get rid of those infantry. Got to try their best to, to rocket them out of existence. The T-55s are going to roll up to try to help deal with my marksmen. So you can try to keep your Heinz. Mm -hmm. And then you are just desperately pushing forward yeah. here with all of the infantry, yeah. the BMPs, everything you can because, you know, you press need against to go that objective. take yeah. that objective. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get over to shooting. Where would you like to begin? Uh, start with the T-55s first. T-55s shooting into my marksman. Mm -hmm. I'm wide out in the open with that first one, so yeah. looking for fours to hit. And, oh. Oh, that's not a good start yeah. there, uh, oh. Anthony. Yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we'll start over here. Um, go over here. This RPG team is just close enough to hit that. BMP, so I'm going to target it um, with it. All right, so from that front team into there. Yep, so he will need a five. Nope. Nah, it's not a five. Uh, what else you got? And I got the BM, uh, BMP twos firing their auto cannons, and they're going to fire into this front BMP one unit. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. All right, so all of the BMP twos are firing over into my BMP ones. These are all just looking for fours to hit. Yeah, pretty yeah, good. A couple good hits. Yeah. But a couple. Actually, no, that's not fantastic. Yeah. Uh, okay, so the assigned were two, one, one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so the armor doesn't matter. Yeah. So looking for these are five ups. Yep. Five up on the first one. Got them. Okay. Next one. Yep. Five up there. Bail. Don't get them. Last and one. And last one. Nope. Awesome. Okay. Bail. So bail, bail. All right, not awful. And then over to the Heinz. Yep, so they are going to try to put down a salvo with the rockets, which is a one shot in the game, so I better do it now. You get to shoot your marksman and your uh, man pads first, though. Yeah, let's go. We'll just do the marksman first. I was only able to get the two up close enough, but there is going to be ten shots uh, going into, uh, yeah, the lads yep. here. Yep, looking for threes. Oh, let's see what I can do. Uh, hmm. Yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. A lot, a, lot, a lot of beards there. A lot of beards. Do five and uh, four. Okay. What are we rolling first? The five? Uh, I need, yeah, do the five first. Need a four plus. Yep. And. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Stop it! Yep. 
He's getting through. And then the other one? Four. Uh, failed two. Failed two of them. Okay, yeah. so four firepower checks. Yep. Yep. Oh, go. I got the last one. So one left, but that's... he goes. And I think that also now that pushes my uh, uh, guys out of range with the um, grails. Yep, that does leave you out of range with the other grail. So you get to try to uh, drop the big template on me. Yep. Okay, so try to drop the rocket salvo right here. Uh, so skill checks. Yep. So range in. Uh, skill is a five, so I need a five plus. Nope. 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 And the no. rockets go wide. Nope. Very, very wide. The low skill Russians is just not able to uh, get these shots where they need to be to try to bombard over here. Womp womp. That was your last ditch effort to try to push me off of there. We're going to go over, I'll do the beginning of my turn, um, just to explain for everybody that's new to the game what's going to happen. Um, but basically, we're going to see the end of the game very soon. <laughs> All right, beginning of the turn here. Uh, do I remount? I do. Do I remount? I do. So they're back in over mm -hmm. here. And then I also need to take the test. For the one that's over here, that's he's back nice, in. Nice. Gonna roll for my reserves, see if anybody shows up on fives. No, nobody shows up. Oh well. Yeah. Not gonna be a whole ton of tanks in this game. Right. Um, and then basically, the way that this resolves, no matter what ends up happening, um, I am gonna win because I have, can you just lift up those uh, BMPs so yep. people can see? Yep. The objective is underneath there. I do have a infantry team uh, in good spirits starting within four and I'll be able to end the turn within four. So I will achieve a victory there. Um, there's nothing else I really have to worry about on my turn. Um, nothing else really super cool I wanna show off. We're gonna talk about this in the post game. And uh, yeah. So that it is going to be yeah. a victory for Finland. Awkward yeah. left-handed handshake. Yep. Good game, sir. Good game. And let's get ready for the post-game chat. There we go. Welcome to the post-game. With its smiling face. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we have a couple different things to talk about. Let's start talking about uh, this game that we just played. So, uh, pretty solid victory for Finland. I will admit I was a little bit anxious playing um, the Finns because I know they're using... A lot of Soviet technology, but not necessarily the newest stuff. And I don't like feeling outmatched. That being said, the very high skill mm -hmm. uh, combined with a very high um, like remount morale and everything mm -hmm. else. Like I just, I had good stats all around. That came in clutch for the most part. The T-55s could have stuck around longer and been a pain in the butt, but... Um, my T-55s, rather, the ones that were over here. Uh, they didn't, but that's A-OK. -okay. Yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. What do you yeah. think? This is, um, for for anybody not familiar, um, I guess, let's have you uh, introduce yourself properly. Yep, so my name is Anthony. I'm one of the account managers at Battlefront Miniatures in Guild Force 9. Uh, so I've been kind of a regular guest here, been up every couple of months to kind of show off some of the new armies that we are doing. Um, as again, in this match, we had uh, classic Soviets versus Finns, which are one of the new armies in the Team Yan Yankee Nordic book, uh, planned for this summer. Um, yeah, and Josh kind of hit it off well. So the Finns are using a lot of Soviet equipment, um, usually not as about the same level or a little less sophisticated than the actual Soviets themselves, but they are getting the benefit of the better skill to compensate for the technology and small unit size. So for instance, for me, my TD-55 unit here, which is analogous to what he had, was five tanks. Well, he only had the three. Um, however, with a higher skill, he's able to do things like blitz moves, as well as have a longer range against me. Yeah, because it's T-55 AM-2s, right? Mm -hmm. So the capability, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they've got the capability to upgrade to the ATGM. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then they also, uh, they don't have the slow firing rule that I have, which is the penalty to hit after uh, moving and shooting. Yep. 
Yeah, so Fins will really specialize, especially a player who can use all these smaller pieces together in concert, are really going to excel with a finished force. And if you like kind of using your Soviet kit that you may already have or want to get some, but have a, a, a more advanced or more complex force, you know, with higher skill ratings to work with, they'd be the perfect force for you. Yeah, now keep in mind, as I mentioned earlier in the video too, um, actually no, Let's uh, let's let's go over, I guess, a little bit more um, about this game. Hindsight being twenty twenty, anything you would have done differently? I think the biggest thing here is I advanced a little too early with my BMP one scouts here. Um, they are bravely burning on top of the objective right now. Um, I probably should have kept them back a little bit further. Uh, I may have also may have redeployed my tank unit here. I was hoping to have my T fifty fives push in concert with my BMP twos yep. over here, um, but they got slowed down a little bit by the fifty fives there. I think by having a little bit over on this flank, I was getting pressured, would have kept me in the game a little longer. Um, both of us had our main battle tanks in reserve here and playing an encounter mission where you're not going to get those reserves till turn three or later. Um, that probably would have helped uh, keep me in the game a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah, when I looked at this, um... I was surprised. I assumed the T-55s with how much pressure I was putting we were gonna turn over here. Mm -hmm. Which would have given my tow missiles and all that a chance to kind of mess them up a bit. Um, but yeah, sticking with here and then kind of faltering the last moment knowing that you should have went this way. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, I zagged instead of zagging. Yep, yep. Uh, so yeah, pretty happy. Now, that being said, in a turn or two, you would have had a whole bunch of Soviet infantry assaulting me here, mm -hmm. which would have been a major issue for me. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I was able to, uh, you know, strike hard, strike fast, and uh, get a very early win, mm -hmm. like you said before, the main battle tank showed up. Mm -hmm. Which I don't mind in a game like this. It, it's kind of, excuse me, narrative in my mind mm -hmm. that uh, knowing that the Russians are bringing these huge tank formations, that uh, the Finnish forces decided, hey, you know, we've got enough here to make a push, let's see what we can do mm -hmm. with it. Mm -hmm. And I was able to capture that victory. So yeah. Um, now talking about the book itself, like I mentioned, we will be giving away um, kind of a starter force here. Uh, and I will be looking down in the comment section below and picking one of you folks at random to uh, uh, give away those minis too. So in your comment left down below, you have to include the word, ready, ready, Nordic. It must be spelled properly. Spell it for everybody, Anthony. N. O R D I C. Uh huh. So leave that in your comment down below. And like I said, uh, uh, about a month after the video goes out, I will do a draw, and uh, some lucky folks will be getting some of the new Swedish miniatures mm -hmm. along with the uh, book to go along with them. Now, let's talk about what else is in this book, real quick. So we have four separate forces, and this is obviously dealing with all these Scandinavian countries. Um, so let's see if I can remember them. Obviously we have uh, Finland, which is going to be using a lot of uh, Soviet equipment. Uh, we also have Norway, which is, I want to say a mix of some of their stuff from home and then the tanks coming from either Germany or the UK. Because I think they've got the Centurions. So the uh, Norwegians will have a mix of their own equipment, but will also have access to a lot of... Uh, West German equipment as well, such as Leopard 1s. Uh, the Leopard 1 was actually, although it was a West German built tank, was utilized by a lot of Western European Almost armies. Everybody. Yeah, pretty much everyone had a, had Leopard 1s. Um, they'll also have access to American 113 APCs, but we'll also have their own version, the MM135, which can be the transport and the anti-tank variant. Uh, okay, cool, cool. And then we also have uh, the Danish forces in there? That's correct, and the Danes will have access to um, Leopard 1s, M113s, and also Centurion tanks, which is actually one of the new kits that we're bringing out with this book. Yeah, new plastic Centurions. Pretty excited for them. Um, would have loved to get them in this game, but we couldn't get them in time. Um, and then last but not least, and of course, uh, you know, some of the minis that we're giving away, we have uh, Sweden. Yeah, so uh, Sweden itself during World War II and then during the Cold War was a neutral country. However, they um, did their best to build up a strong army and air force to defend themselves. Um, and actually some of their models are showcased on the front of the book here. We have probably one of the most interesting vehicles from the Cold War, the Swedish S-Tank or Stritzwagen. 
Yep, that's um, the uh, the S103, I think. Yep, yep, and it um, is unique, obviously, because it does not have a turret. Um, rather, the gun is aimed by hydraulically moving the um, tracks around to aim it up and down, side to side. Um, these were a major part of the Swedish Army. These will also be in plastic. Um, they will actually be the uh, Army box that will be coming out for the Swedes. Uh, Swedes also use the Centurion tank. Um, and also use a couple of their own indigenous equipment as well, such as their own APCs, self-propelled artillery, and jets. Yeah, because they got the, uh, what's the, what's their artillery called? It's called, actually called the Bang Cannon, which sounds yes, like the most artillery it. name you can think of. Yes. Um, Another really kind of weird, interesting looking vehicles. Uh, they've got the... Oh, they've got their own little light tank in there too, essentially. Right? Uh, uh, the IKB-91 is actually, although it does look like a tank, it's actually a tank destroyer. Um, yep. Is a fairly lightly armored, kind of a fire support vehicle um, to help out kind of uh, finish, or not finish, but Swedish infantry. Um, and of course the jet we talked about is the Swedish Viggen jet, which was used not only as a fighter, but also a ground attack aircraft, which is it's gonna be its role in Team Yankee. Yeah, definitely a very iconic looking aircraft. Mm -hmm. And something, you know, I'm excited to get the Mini and uh, get them on the board to support my Finnish forces. Yeah, uh, the Nordic book, I'm pretty excited for. Um, very happy with how the uh, Finns turned out, but uh, yeah, definitely excited to supplement the force with some uh, allied price Swedish stuff more than anything else. Yeah. But uh, yeah, other than that, any, uh, any closing thoughts for the folks at home? No, um, you know, all of us at Battlefront, we're really excited about this book. You're seeing four new armies here. We're kind of expanding the realm of Team Yankee. Um, as those who kind of follow the channel, you know, we did Red Dawn late last year, which was the Soviet invasion of America um, and brought out some new forces and nations for that. Now here we have even more armies you can play, different lists to try out. So hopefully you get to see people's really cool combinations they have on the tabletop. Yeah. Very excited to see what you folks continue to come up with. Uh, Anthony, once again, thanks for coming in and uh, letting me uh, letting me beat you up, mm -hmm. show off the fins yeah. a little bit there. And other than that, viewers, uh, remember to leave a comment down below with the word Nordic in it, uh, so I can uh, you know get some Swedes out to someone. Mm -hmm. So viewers, thanks so much for tuning in. Keep being awesome, and as always, happy wargaming. Yeah. See y'all.